though I felt like I needed to be licensed, you know, and God began to deal with me. Look, go out into the world. Allow me to use you. Allow me to bless people through you. Allow me to speak through you. Don't question me. Don't get it twisted. I ordained you. I have I have anointed and appointed you, you know, and I say that to say, so if you are frustrated right now and you're not quite sure what to do or how to do it, be still and know that God is God and he don't need no help. Do you understand me? God will pave the way for the life that you were predestined for the person that you will need that you need to become before you get to the place of doing what he wants you to do he had, he already he said he already knew you before you were creating your mother's womb and he knew the plans that he had he knows the plans that he had for you plans to prosper you and do you no harm plans for hope in the future so i'm saying that to say this again don't be frustrated this is a time when you cry out to God, you lay on your face, you lay prostrate, and you just begin to say, Lord, I give myself to you. Have your way with me. Do what you please. I want my desires to line up with your will. I want to know that whatever it is that you want me to do on here on earth, I want to begin to become the person that you need me to be to do exactly what you would have me to do. So from one heart to another, from the circle of love. I am really speaking from my heart and telling you, hold on, stay steadfast, not movable. Do not be anxious for nothing because God's calling on your life and in the desires that are in your heart. If you delight yourself in him and you begin to just let go of things that is not of him begin to let go of people that does not that does not celebrate you they don't celebrate you they don't empower you don't they don't inspire you you know just let them go and move forward doing what you can do on the level that you are on don't look toward the left toward the left don't look toward the right Keep your eyes stayed on Jesus. Keep your eyes stayed on the Lord. You know, I, I, I'm i serious. I'm so serious because what he has for you, it is for you. And can no devil in hell, no devil on earth keep you from it. But you have to get to a place that you believe, know that God, Whatever God's will is for your life, it shall come to pass. Yes, you have work to do. Yes, you do. Because if you think about it, I'm ending this message with message with saying this. If you knew that you were getting ready to move from one home to the next, what are the things that you're going to start doing? First of all, you're going to start going through different things to see what you want, what you don't want. You're going to trash out things that you don't want. You're going to keep the things that you do want. You're going to pack up. You're going to first look for the place that you want to move to. Is this a good, you know, a good school district? Is this a good place that I want to be? Am I comfortable? Do it feel like home? And when you do that, then you're going to start finding out how much does it cost? And then, so, cause you got to count all costs. So you're going to count, you're going to see how much does it cost? Can I afford this? Then you're going to start calling the light company, the gas company the water company the trash company you got to, you know you you're going to try to get everything lined up for you to be able to make that move and all of that is preparing for the transition so in this season of your life that you are transitioning from one level to the next begin to do exactly what you need to do to get to the next level amen and god bless <laughs>